Today we're gonna to get into it, how to adjust that balancing correction. This is something I'm working on right now, just trying to get into position before an obstacle and still leave myself enough runway after a rear wheel hop or a front wheel hop and just trying to get that balance squared away, get good static balance before taking off at the obstacle. Now I find as I'm moving up in levels in order to get into position with less run up, the obstacles just seem to be really close and sometimes a rear wheel hop or some sort of hopping is needed, but it's then after the hopping that I struggle to get balanced, composed and set before that obstacle. A lot of times I found that after I hop, I wind up inching forward a little bit just to regain my balance. That's not gonna work if I'm inching forward, I just run out of space before the obstacle that I need a little bit of momentum and a little bit of straightness to come into. So in order to get balanced, I keep seeing these people on the internet doing a full bike hop. And it's, it's not just like a full bike hop like this, they're actually lifting up the front wheel and then they're adding in a little bit of rear wheel as well. And I've just started to experiment with this. I'm just sharing what I'm learning. I realize that a lot of my videos, I try and produce them and make them something, but the reality is it's just me. It's just me out here learning and sharing what it is that I'm learning with you guys, the viewing audience, so we can take this trial journey together. So as it relates to getting composed and getting that bike balanced, I think if I can pull up on the handlebars like a front wheel hop, keep that rear brake on, which is a big part of it, and then with my weight a little bit more forward, push the bars down and allow that rear end to come up off the ground. That rear wheel coming off the ground allows the bike to get centered back underneath me. That rear wheel might only be moving an inch or two in either direction direction, whichever way my body is leaning, but just that amount is allowing myself to get centered so that I can take off again. So that quick balance correction hop, it's a full bike hop, but it looks a little bit different is what I'm working on right now. Before throwing in a nose wheelie and anything as it relates to a turn, just trying to recover balance after hopping, I'm simply going to practice the front hop and see if I can land in static. So landing, ah, inch forward. Let's try it again. Front wheel hopping, back towards that line, land in static. There we go. That's what I'm aiming for. Now sometimes I'm too far off line, going in that rear hop, help to get the back end of the bike back underneath me. There we go. Maybe even a front hop after the full bike hop. Ah, inching forward. So that's the game. Try not to inch forward. We can do this going towards the grass line as well. So after front hops, just trying to recover balance and not inch forward at all. just to practice these full bike hops, pushing off the handlebar similar to a front hop, but then just a little bit more jump. And then after the jump, pushing forward with my handlebars will allow that rear end to come up off the ground. So we'll go ahead and try maybe one or two front hops and then letting that rear come off the ground. All right, so the drill I've got lined up here is just to do a nose wheelie coming in towards this grass line at about a 90 degree angle, maybe 45, and put my front tire right by this cone. Now, intentionally, I don't want to go further forward than the cone. Usually, I'm trying to recover balance after a nose wheelie, and I'm inching the bike forward more and more and more. As a result, I'm getting closer to that obstacle, which is exactly what I don't want to do because I need a good lead-in going into that obstacle could put a foot down to recover balance, but then you give away a point. So just trying to be as uh, good with my bike control as possible. And so this is where this drill is really going to take off, is just trying to get set up, not practicing the obstacle, but practicing the setup, because most of the points are taken in the setup. So in this instance, I am just trying to get that rear wheel around close to that grass line, and then one or two front hops, maybe even that full bike hop in order to recover balance, get static, take a breath, and then proceed. Ah. There we 
go. Back in static balance. That felt good. Oh, oh, broke the cone. Didn't even need the full bike hop. I feel like my balance is getting better. Ah, I'm off. Recently, a lot of people have been downloading the Balance Game Scorecard, a way to work on your static balance, especially as the weather is colder. I'm out here in the garage, got the heater going, and if you don't want to miss out on this scorecard, you can find it at the link below.